want a living wage, you want jobs, you want your assets kept, and you don't want some money trader that made millions trading against the New Zealand dollar selling out your future. You've only got one chance to stop the greasy little fella in the blue suit, and that is on Saturday week, 26 November, you can stop him. But if you don't vote Labour, then he will get another chance and he will do things to you and your family that you will spend three long years regretting. You have one chance. We are here to help you. We are here to fight for you. We are in the front lines. I have David Shearer here, the MP for Mount Albert. A good man, he needs your vote. We have Rajan Prasad. We have Susan Chu. We have our friends from the Greens and Mana. And we are all united in saying, stop the asset sales. Stop the cuts for working people. Stop the tax cuts for millionaires. And fight for your rights, because you have one week. Fight for your rights. If you don't stand up now, in one week's time, they will say they have three more years to do to your family what they've been wanting to do. Selling assets, cutting benefits, cutting public services. Why? Why? Because the rich fellas, the millionaires, the bankers that give them lots of money, they want tax cuts and a free ride. And they will hurt our people. They will hurt our people. Don't let them hurt our people. Stand up now. Stand up now. I need two ticks for your Labour candidate and for your Labour Party vote. And work with the forces of the left. Work with the progressive forces. And stop this madness before it is too late. Parents, tell your children. Go Matua. Tell the Pano. Tell the Tamariki. Tell the Mokapuna. Stand up and vote. And you know it almost doesn't matter who you vote for as long as you vote. But if you stay at home next Saturday and you don't get to the booth and you don't cast your vote, then you cannot complain for the next three years as they sell off your assets, cut your benefits and slash health and education services that our people depend on. We don't ask for much. We don't ask for much, do we? We just want a good life. We just want our kids to have good schools. And when they get sick, we just want them to go to a good doctor. We don't ask for a lot. We don't need to live in a mansion in East Auckland. We just need our families to be safe. So why are they taking even that away? Why do they want you to pay twice to buy power, sta power stations you already paid for out of your taxes? And what happens if we sell our electricity system to foreigners just when oil prices are going through the roof? Do you want control of your nation's energy system owned by someone else? What's going to happen to power prices? owned by New York bankers. You think they care about our old people shivering in the cold? So, Saturday, 26th of November, we have a date. We have a date with destiny. And it's our date to stop the national train in its tracks. So I want any of you who are free who want to give Mr. Key a message, come to the gate by the Shell Station now. We hear he's going to be here soon. I want you to stand up and I want you to tell him what you think of him. I want you to tell him what you think of selling our assets. I want you to tell him what you think of cutting our benefits, taking away our schools, hospitals, nurses, doctors, and even the cop cars. I want you to tell him that we want New Zealand for New Zealanders of all shapes and sizes. I want you to tell him that it doesn't matter what the colour of your skin. I want you to tell him it doesn't matter the size of your mum and dad's wallet. I want you to tell him that we are all equal and we deserve an equal chance.
I want you to tell them that we don't want tax cuts for rich people. We want a fair go for everybody. That's what I want you to tell them. Come to the gate by the Shell station and give the Prime Minister a really warm Avondale welcome, folks. Thank you very much. Kia ora tato. And a special kia ora to the Mana Party for the use of their microphone. Thanks, Fanona. Yeah.